so let's discuss problem J. This was the problem with the most number of uh, um, wrong attempts. So let's uh, discuss the statement first. So it was about the sc uh, scoring the points for the uh, game and uh, the function of the score for each player is what the sum of the scores for each of the stages but for complexity um, there is a parameter L defined so that each of the scores for each stage is getting uh, cut by this parameter L. So clearly the function for the number of points for each player would be a partially linear function so if, uh, at the beginning when the L is smaller than the each of the number of the points for each stage the function grows with the L after that when it reached the first score for the first stage it slows down and it goes uh, so on so it is a convex, uh, partially linear function and uh, in the statement you had to for each of the such function you have to find um, its uh, parameter for which the current function would be in the top list among all the functions. So there are several. And for example for this function it would its top parameter would be some somewhere here. And the trickiest case about this problem is that um, the top parameter for some particular function is not always in the point where some function has a vertice. So if you see at, at this uh, case uh, and the green function, it can be covered with several other functions so that it has the best parameter somewhere here, but clearly there is no um, a vertice of any linear function at this point. So it was not enough to check only all the vertices of linear functions, but also you had to consider all the intersections of the linear functions. But to make implementation easier, first let's consider only two linear functions and find uh, those intersections. This can be done without any uh, complex data structure just uh, with two pointers like you keeping uh, the point to the current state and after that you can find whether there will be an intersection between the next two points and if so you can find it and move on or otherwise you can just uh, move the pointers next. So after that when you find all the intersection between two linear functions you can find uh, for the function all the seg segments of the uh, like all periods of times when this function is covered by another function so here we, we have kind of uh, several segments and for all um, such a pairs with uh, some uh, fixed linear function you can find like for each function the period of times when it is covered and after that, once you've got all the events, you just uh, sort all of them and proceed it like a regular uh, event um, problem about events. So you store all the uh, ends of the segments and uh, proceed it one by one. And after that, you can find the moment of time when the current function is covered with the least number of other functions. So that's the easiest way how you uh, can implement this solution and like once again there is no way to solve this problem in more trickier way because you always have to handle all those intersections.